Now we're going to look at effects, and the first thing we want to work with is a pre-programmed focus effect. First thing I want to do is be in live, and I'm going to go to cue out, enter. And then I want to say group five, full enter, and I'm going to go ahead and put those at focus palette two. When I go into effect effect, see my effects list. And remember that effects 901 through 918 are effects that come with every show file. So those are the ones you want to start with. I'm going to type 901 enter. And you'll notice that this is a focus effect. And we have pan and tilt on the axes. So let's go ahead and apply that effect. I'm going to say select last effect 901 enter. And because this is a relative effect, we're going to be doing a circle around where those fixtures were focused. So in the effect editor, you have to keep in mind that the intersection between the two axes is where the parameter started, and we're going to run that path around that location. When you have an effect on the command line, you'll notice on your encoders that you have some of your parameters available. So for example, my scale, I can increase or decrease. I can stretch or squeeze that axis horizontally or vertically by just pressing the encoder button. And I can speed up or slow down the effect by increasing or decreasing my cycle time. The grouping will determine how fixtures behave along the focus path. So right now I have it set to default, which is spread, meaning that however many lights I have selected in running this effect, we're going to spread out around that circular path. If I change my grouping to 1, you'll notice that they all stick together and run as a single group along the path. If I were to do a grouping of 2, they're going to split and be halfway along the path. In this instance, a grouping of 5 is the same as spread because I have 5 fixtures. So I'm going to set that back to spread. And then trail determines how far one light goes before the next one starts the effect. So in a trail of even, again, all of those fixtures are going to be spread out evenly along that path. If I do a trail of solo, one fixture is going to do the whole path before the second fixture starts doing the path. A trail of, let's say, 20%. You're going to get a lot of clumping around one side because 20% of the way into the path, the next fixture is going to start on the path. Where a trail of 80 is going to let a fixture get almost all the way around, and 20% before it is finished, the next one's going to start. So for now, I just want to put my trail back to even. And back out in live, if I want to stop an effect, I can say group. 5, effect, at enter. That's going to stop that effect for me. You can also use your stop effect button in your fader config area.